Hey guys, what is up? So I have one of my absolute top promoters, but also good friend of mine who ended up joining um, my team with Lavelle. Um, what was it? In Literally uh, just a month ago. Yeah, April 29th to be exact. April 29th, <laughs> I should know that. Um, so anyway, um, I wanted to, well, we wanted to make this video because we wanted to talk about just finding success as a new promoter, I guess you could say, and then also just kind of what it kind of takes and how it's not easy but it's extremely doable she hit um two of our bonuses within two days of working the business which was amazing and we just really like to hear the insight from her um on what got her there and then also within two weeks she hit the first rank of the business as well which was 4k i feel like she would just be super helpful to hear from for anyone that is maybe new to promoting or interested in promoting or has that little like thought I'm like oh maybe i could do this um <laughs> and so because you can so anyway um <laughs> oh and she ended her first month in sales with nine thousand dollars yeah almost nine mm -hmm. that's crazy almost nine thousand dollars in sales with her team that she built within all, just a month of the business it was it like you started with products and you fell in love with products or did you just jump right in automatically as a promoter so, <laughs> um, starting out as a customer, just based off of you knowing your audience, that was crazy. And I think yeah. that really helped make me feel more comfortable with trying the products. So I initially started out as a customer and it was life changing within the first day. Great. And <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to work that fast. Um, I actually had zero expectations. I actually started training with one of my really good friends, just trying to get back in shape. I am now postpartum, I'd say almost a year and a half. So I feel like myself, but I think every mom knows you don't actually really feel like yourself for a long time. Um, and I was just struggling with working out just because finding that time, finding that energy, it was just really hard. Um, I talked to my trainer about, you know, just seeing Naira's story and saying like, hey, like she does like these supplements and they look like they could really work for me, but I don't know. Like, have you heard anything about it? Um, it's crazy. Literally hours later, Naira messages me. <laughs> I had not even spoken to her about it and that was really insane. Um, so I started out with a sample pack and I believe on the first day, mm -hmm. did I place that order? Like yeah. the months <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she actually like put on her story like her doing the three steps like I do every day and I was like, what are you? Oh my gosh, okay, cool. And I think, what did I start you with? It was a, like a black label, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was the, the black white label, the capsules, and then just the regular vanilla shakes because I'm so plain Jane, I was scared to try like a flavor. Um. I get it. I get it. <laughs> So I did it the first morning, I woke up and I took the capsules and I was like, okay, like this is cool. I went and then I made the shake and then I did the patch and then I realized I'm like, wait, it's five o'clock, I haven't taken a nap, I haven't drank coffee and I literally went to my husband like, bang, I haven't had coffee. And that's life changing in my household. Like our K-cup collection is ridiculous because we live off of coffee. And that's when I knew I was just like, there is nothing that I've ever tried that's worked for me mm -hmm. the first day. And I was like, I need to place an order now because I only have a three day sample pack and I need these like now. So <laughs> yeah, I, I placed that know. order and I was just like, oh my God. I was literally tracking it like a stalker. I'm like, my package still isn't here. I'm out. That three day sample pack, I mean, it was life changing because mm -hmm. when you're able to just try it out, I feel like that takes even more pressure off yeah. of you. You don't feel like you have to love it because you didn't buy like a whole huge supply and you're like, I don't want this to sit in the back of my pantry. I have to love it. I have to take it all. Yeah. But it was like, it took so much pressure off and I mean, it only took a day. <laughs> Literally like, a day. A day. <laughs> she was like, what the heck is this stuff? I, like, I got you. I feel like you, you were going to love it. And then what, like maybe a few weeks later, 
I saw you do the skin. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, hey, <laughs> I might want to try that out. <laughs> she, she was like my first, like, legitimate, <laughs> consistent auto ship customer. Let's just say that. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, so I got the sample pack of the skin. I gave this one some time because I was getting a little bit too like Lavelle happy as my husband would say uh, and um, I finished the whole sample pack and my skin oh my gosh yeah after just eight days you know when you don't notice that your skin actually has right. imperfections until the imperfections are gone yeah I kind of felt disrespected like <laughs> no one told me my face looked like that <laughs> it's not only now have I just eliminated coffee from my diet mm. I now don't wear makeup anymore <laughs> and I'm just like what <laughs> just my genuine love for the products and how it's changed my life really made it a no-brainer for mm. me to just be a promoter yeah <laughs> yeah so like for people who don't know like what was kind of um so what was your life like or your day-to-day -day routine like prior to the products and how did this like make such a big difference for you um with your job um mm -hmm. being a mom it just kind of give them that background a yeah. little bit. Yeah, so it was really hard for me to just do regular day-to-day -day stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was furloughed as a flight attendant, so I had all this free time, but it was basically free, unproductive time. I was exhausted all the time just from you know chasing around a toddler and we have a dog and just making sure you, I spend time with my husband it was it was just too much and even without working I was still super exhausted mm -hmm. mentally physically I just had no desire to do anything but sleep mm -hmm. um, and I knew like my coffee drinking was just out of this world mm -hmm. when you go to the dentist and they're just like hey, your enamel and the staining on your teeth is not okay for your age. You should probably stop, but I, I literally couldn't. If I did not drink coffee, I, the laundry wouldn't get done. I right. would not cook, or my husband would suffer and be like, hey, let's watch a Netflix show, and I'm like, let's not. Let's <laughs> nap. Go to bed. Yeah, I mean, it's only like 9 o'clock, but like, let's go like now. <laughs> Um, so that's what really made me want to get into Lavelle and just a healthier lifestyle overall. I think you don't realize how unhealthy your life is. For me, I never would have realized it had I not become a mom mm -hmm. because everything that I was putting into my body, my daughter was as well. You very rarely go out and you're like, okay, I'm going to make sure you have broccoli and cauliflower, but I'm going to have tacos and <laughs> chips and salsa like right. <laughs> so it's like you end up doing that and it was just a huge lifestyle check for me becoming mm -hmm. a mother and a wife where it was like I need it to be present I need it to be productive because right. you really have no days off when you have a family mm -hmm. especially as the mom they say dad's head of the household <laughs> but no it's really mom <laughs> and you just really don't have any time off so that's what really was just like and I had nothing to lose. Right. It's like, you know, it wasn't anything permanent, especially with the trial, the sample packs. It was like, it wouldn't hurt anything to try. If anything, I wouldn't like it. I'd stop, go back to coffee and be miserable. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, key and be miserable. <laughs> miserable. It's interesting that you said that, uh, what you said earlier is that um, the biggest thing that you were like, made you give you that realization that you love these products was like you weren't expecting anything from mm -hmm. it which um that actually resonates with me as well in my story because when I started the products I I knew that they were going to feel like let me feel good inside but I didn't realize the physical transformation that I could go through as well mm -hmm. and like three months into me taking um the three steps I took a transformation picture just like out of nowhere I was still doing my usual you know workout routine or anything but um, and my still my same diet, yeah. but it's just implementing the three steps that I saw a physical change that I just didn't expect was coming, and I was like, "Wow!" Oh, I remember that yeah. picture. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, "I can't believe did that was that me?" Like, <laughs> so, yeah, you were like more toned and everything. Yeah. and I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, that's crazy. Right, and it's like it's it's crazy when you get invested in products that you 
love initially, of course, but then months down the road or even weeks or whatever, you start seeing new changes yeah. and you're like, I didn't even expect this. This makes me love it even more. Right. <laughs> and so, yeah, I find that I relate to that very well. Do you find that it's really important to just really fall in love with the products first? Um, and that's what brings you such success because it's just easier that yeah. way. Yeah. That so I think we, especially like my generation right now, there are so many things out there where you can just make money off of it really fast. Right. And I think people get really wrapped up in that and now it's become so easy to detect. Yeah. So it's like if you don't actually believe in what you're doing, it's easy like spotting. Like people mm -hmm. will catch on to that really fast and realize, you know, you're not really selling me something that you believe in. And your word from that point on like isn't reliable. You're not right. credible anymore. If I don't try something out for myself and I love it, I will never refer that to anyone. Right. Because I take it personally when someone refers something to me, just, you know, I understand everybody's trying to make a dollar. I get that. Mm -hmm. Like as a person trying to save up for a house right now, I get, get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm also not that type of person where I feel comfortable with referring someone to something or asking them to try something out that I haven't done myself and that I believe in. It became almost natural for me and that's another thing that just made me want to promote because it was like talking about this was just so easy. Mm -hmm. It mingled its way into conversations without me even trying. Right. Um, just from, you know, talking about my day to day life, like, oh, you're a mom. Yeah, and I'm usually so exhausted and blah, blah, blah. Oh, like, what's helped you? Boom, conversation yeah. starter. For once, it's something that is actually beneficial that doesn't have like any negative, you know, things yeah. associated with it. Sure. It's not a trade off as far as, you know, for some people with coffee you know yeah you get that caffeine you get that energy boost but you crash right and it's natural energy and things that you're getting from these products so that crash doesn't happen mm -hmm. it just wears off as you go throughout your day which is so nice um, when you go into being like selling something um shifting your mentality towards i genuinely love this product i just want to share it with people I, or i just want to help people it's that's the mentality that keeps you to be successful because people trust you um, and you're being a genuine human as opposed to what you said, like just getting the dollar. Yeah. Um, and so I think that a lot of time just being um, in this industry for a couple years now, I think that and I've been guilty of, I think every person learns and grows from doing this, <laughs> to be honest, mm -hmm. um, where uh, if you stop thinking about so much like, oh my gosh, like, I'm just selling this to make the dollar. I'm just selling this to sell this package. I'm just doing this to do that as opposed to thinking, oh, I just want to refer this to a friend. Oh, like this is a really good product that changed my life and I want it to change yours too. Um, once you have that mentality switch, I think that that causes a lot more success, especially when you're first starting out. Yeah. So. Um, I, I don't know if you have any, do you have like any type of like mentality tips as far as getting into the industry or if you're a new promoter, maybe struggling or, um, you're just starting, you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, what would you say are probably like the top three things? And it doesn't have to be just mentality. I think of that a lot, but what would you say would be your top three tips to a new promoter that's trying to, you know, see success in this business? Any chance. Yeah, so <laughs> the top, um, I'd say probably the absolute top tip for me is get out of that imposter syndrome mentality. You yes. are more than capable of doing this. You can't already put hesitation on yourself and feel doubt within yourself without trying. It's, <laughs> it's so nerve wracking putting yourself out there, mm -hmm. um, especially it was for me just because, yeah, I know I love the products, but my platform was geared towards my flight attendant life. Right. It's not geared towards, you know, healthy supplements and, you know, my mom life. Everyone that follows me has either identified with me as a flight attendant, is an aspiring flight attendant, or just something in aviation. So I had to really get out of my own head. Like mm -hmm. if my people follow me because they identify with me in some way, then the worst they can do is just kind of 
not identify with something else that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of, you know, worrying about if you're denied or things like that. That's going to happen. People aren't always going to be 100% on board, but that's okay. It's that And you have to definitely yeah. appreciate that, that you have a choice. Because just like how we have a saturation of supplements in this world, you have to understand some people have found their thing already and they're not willing to switch. And some people are genuinely interested, but you can't put that doubt on yourself already yeah. that you can't do this, especially if you haven't even tried. So that has made a world of yeah. a difference for me as like the top tip. Um, the second tip is always invest in yourself. I would work myself to death when I worked in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. And I found that working myself to death and then coming home and being so exhausted mentally and physically from that, I would put zero time into myself. Mm -hmm. And there was no self growth, there was no development, there was no next level for myself. And that's what made me feel really unsatisfied with my work life because I was growing in the corporate world, but I wasn't growing mentally, like within myself. Um, always wanting to read and learn new mm -hmm. things and, you know, journaling. I know that you journal a lot. Even Love if, <laughs> even if for someone like me, like as a mom, if I try and take a pen out and write anything, my daughter's going to snatch that pen out and start coloring. So no mom. <laughs> yeah. So just finding ways to invest in yourself for personal growth makes all the difference. Cause there's just so many resources out there. Find something that, you know, brings you personal growth mm -hmm. and run with it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really huge for me as well. And then the top, the third thing is to set boundaries with things. I feel like it's, always a great exciting thing when you're passionate about something and you first get started but you will burn yourself out and end up resenting it mm -hmm. if you don't set boundaries yeah. so when you first get started you know if you decide to become a promoter with us <laughs> or just in the future just starting anything new when you set boundaries initially you will always make sure that everything stays separate and that becomes really important when you start to find success in things because you don't want your partner or your family to resent you for things where it's like you have good intentions you're doing this like i do this for my family mm -hmm. but if i do this and neglect my family does it really matter it really doesn't mm -hmm. so those th three things I feel like built me for success when it comes to this along with my love for the products and I tell people that all the time especially my own promoters that are just like really scared to like go on like a posting rant and sometimes it's not about a posting rant sometimes it's just a conversation because people are watching you that's what social media is about like we just watch, we scroll, we watch yeah. stories, we scroll. like, we comment. So feeling weird for using social media for what it's for is the oddest concept ever. <laughs> like don't ever feel that way because that's yeah. what social media is for. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people in social media, and I was like this when I first started because I started my account from zero completely because I was afraid because I didn't want to post anything on my private account because right. I was like I don't want to, I'm nervous about what my friends and family are going to think of me and I know that that is a very common thing for anybody who is newer to social media I know a lot of people look at people like us who have kind of well T had been um, on YouTube and she had a following from um, being a flight attendant I know that I had been in network marketing for about three years so at this stage people kind of look at probably our accounts and how conf more confident we are on the camera and immediately get intimidated and kind of fall back because they think that like they're not at the same stage as we are when it comes to social and I just want to remind you that uh, everybody starts from zero you know you're never gonna be perfect even though I'm going on my social I'm putting myself out there I'm not perfect I go on there with like sweatpants my hair up in a bun like no makeup I look ridiculous but like it actually takes a lot of practice to do that and like I said you start from zero and we are here to help you and encourage you in that um, and so with that being said a lot of people come to this business and they're they ask me or they ask other leaders that, that 
oh, well, do I have to post a lot on social media? Do I have to be there every single day? And, you know, in the beginning, not always. You don't really have to, I guess, to first find your success in like the first couple bonuses or first couple weeks. But I will tell you, eventually, you're going to want to um, because it only goes so far. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I think one big thing for me, and I'll, I'll let you go ahead and talk about your advice, but I know for for me, my perspective is if someone is watching me and I'm trying to sell them something um, and I'm not showing the product every single day and I'm not showing that I use it, that makes somebody who's watching me say, well, she's not using it every single day. Why should I? Right. Like, why? What's the big deal about this? And so um, I think that the biggest thing you do need to show up on social media pretty much every day and the consistency is key in this business um and but then again we also don't disregard people who are newer to social media and need to grow in that field it's just the willing to learn and the willing to be coachable and the willing to you know get outside of your comfort zone because success isn't created inside of your comfort zone and that is just a lesson in life and i've learned that and i've learned that i battle and i when i say that i also know that i learn that in every single day like going yeah. forward um and so it's just kind of the willingness to put yourself out there even when you're the most uncomfortable because that is where you grow. So um, I don't know how what your perspective is on it. So I, T shows up every single day on her stories about the product and I think that she's a great advocate for the product. And uh, so how important do you think it is to be showing up every day and posting on social? Like how much do you think that effort applies to the amount of success that you've gotten in the first month? Yeah, I think it makes a world of a difference because I know before I started my YouTube, um, social media, it really sucks you in sometimes. So you kind of have to put like a limit on yourself. And I don't know if you use screen time. Mm -hmm. I use that on my iPhone because I'm like, sometimes I need my phone to tell me, hey, you've been doing this too much. Take mm -hmm. a break. And a lot of people experience that as well. So you may say, okay, I'm going to post every Wednesday but there's probably about 25% of your following that doesn't go on social media on Wednesdays because they've set those limits for themselves. Yeah. So by posting every day, posting different times and um, posting different ways, whether it's through stories or reels or just like a post that stays on your timeline, um, it can make a difference by reaching someone else who didn't see it before. I think that social is just such a huge part of this um, job and also if you are newer you're hesitant towards anything we've been in this field for a, a minute now you know and we've been on social before and so what we're here to do as mentors is to help guide you in that journey um, but in turn like I said earlier the willingness to just kind of be coachable and be there um, it's right. super important what was kind of your journey like when you first joined the team mm -hmm. I guess and kind of walk through that process or that journey for you <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting um too much and once again my it was blown out of the water just the group of individuals that make up our team it was just crazy because I, like I said, I had zero expectations and then to come in and be like so welcomed and if you need anything and I just, I really wasn't expecting that. So initially when we did like that first Zoom and we got like the breakdown in the email, you know, I was, I was so grateful because I was just like, yeah, like I know the products are great, but how do you do all this stuff? <laughs> it was really nice to just come in and it's just like, we're all on the same level here. You let me know what you need. I can provide it. I can provide you the tools, the resources. And from there, you make it what you need to make it. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, that was super important just because I got the products down packed. The business side, I was not, I was not there. Um, and to this day, like I'm still learning and that's another great thing is I'm constantly learning and that goes back to that self-improvement. It's not, it's never ending with this. I feel like within Lavelle, I'm finding myself again and it's just, I don't know, finding other ladies like that. Yeah. Like, 
yeah my people <laughs> it's powerful it really is especially when i feel like sometimes people um like you have a hard time finding people like you yeah and i feel like that's where i found in lavelle as well it's like wow i have this community of women that are all over the freaking country and they're all at the same mindset as me. They're yeah. all just trying to learn and trying to better themselves and then also gearing towards their why and like going mm -hmm. towards what they're using this business for. And that is super important to kind of recognize your why is always gonna change over time, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what phase of life that you're in. And it's just really important to understand like, why am I doing this? Like, yeah. is it to find myself? Is it a financial thing? Is it a health thing? Whatever it may be, it's powerful. Yeah, what's your why, T? So my <laughs> why, I think everyone's why when it comes to like a side gig is financial freedom. Just <laughs> wanting the, the power to just, you know, not have to say no because, you know, your money is tied up somewhere else. And that is my why. Like, I want to be able to provide the needs and the wants for my family. And even though that's the husband's job, I feel like I'm my husband's partner. Like, we're in this together. So I don't want him to ever feel the pressure of being 100% responsible financially mm -hmm. for our family. Girl, <laughs> giving me chills over here. No, that's, it's so powerful, especially like when you're talking about it, I'm sure like whenever I talk about my why, I'm like, oh, I could cry right now. <laughs> I know. And so it's always super powerful to like really understand that. And I think that in anything in life, whether you're a promoter, whether you're trying to do a new side gig, a new job, whatever it may be, like it all starts with you. You know, and, and like the personal growth is so important. And that's actually something that I thought was ridiculous when it was first brought to my attention. Yeah. I Right? Like I was like, personal at all, but like reading a book every day, I wouldn't do that. And here I am like posting my morning routine every day. And I'm like, because it is so important. And because like once you feed your mind with that and start genuinely like you think you believe in yourself until you start doing personal development, I yeah. would say. Because you're just like, I can do this. Yeah. Like, and genuinely believe it to your core. And so I think that the biggest thing with personal development too mm -hmm. is just becoming the best version of you so that you can be that person for the people that you love, for the people that are around you. Um, That's a caption right there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so when you first hit your first two bonuses, you know, the VIP 800 and VIP 1600 is actually a heat for those of you who don't know, is a huge incentive that our company does to just to set you up for success, I would say, when you first join. Um, and it really creates a momentum in your business. And going back to how T was just more so like in love with the products and everything. I remember messaging her when she hit her VIP 1600 <laughs> and I was like, you know that this is your bonus check that's coming, right? And you were like, what? <laughs> not get it. I was just like, wait, I've just been doing orders. What are you saying? Say more. <laughs> You'll just kind of like go into your perspective of, you know, how you feel the company really treats their promoters mm -hmm. from a business standpoint and to make it, you know, actually attainable and yeah. realistic, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So. so I know like when you first start out something, everything is like really sweet and you know, they sweeten the pot by adding all these other things. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's never ending <laughs> with Lavelle. I think since I've started, we've had like three promos yeah. and I'm like, it's only been a month. <laughs> I need to breathe. <laughs> 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 It's really nice because they continuously incentivize us mm -hmm. and um, that's how you know the company does some sort of training on the back end for themselves mm -hmm. because that's not something that's like known. A lot of employers struggle with that because they don't understand why their employees lack drive, why mm -hmm. their sick call outs are high even though their employees aren't really sick and things like that. Yep. <laughs> so um, Lavelle does a great job of timing these so promotions <laughs> to where it's just like all right we let you take three breaths and i get back in the game <laughs> and i think that um 
is what really like keeps me going and keeps me excited about it and also just like when they come out with new products it's just like oh my god i don't have enough i need this one too what is it that, it's gonna work i'm gonna make it work <laughs> i'm glad that you feel this way as someone that is new is that you don't feel like you're just somebody that needs to make sales for for the person above you and um and that you are a part of a team and no matter what your goals are in this business like we as leaders are here to help guide you towards those goals whatever you see fit so if you want to go ham in the business we got you if you just want to like have like Free products and some credits we got you <laughs> so, <laughs> and, <laughs> exactly. and so and then if you see these promos and you were like wait I can't not do this we got you <laughs> so <laughs> I think that they do an awesome job like I agree the incentivizing and keeping promoters excited yeah is super important and I I definitely respect our CEO and everybody who like comes up with those promotions yeah. <laughs> let's just say that it's it can be very life changing, and I know for me, uh, it's it's a side gig for me right now, and it has essentially doubled my salary. And it's like a lot of people come to me and are like, "Is this even real?" Like I feel like a lot of people get really skeptical. I was skeptical at first, I'll admit it, <laughs> and um, because I came from a different MLM where I wasn't making anything really. I loved it, I loved every second of it but I wasn't making the money for my efforts. Yeah. And that can be really deflating. Um, and I think that can cause a lot of people to not join something like that. And I understand that. <laughs> so, anywho, um, I know, I don't know, did you have any skepticisms at all? Or were you just not even really thinking about the money aspect when you first joined? Um, it's okay if you were, it's okay if you weren't, like whatever. <laughs> um, but like, or maybe when you first hit that bonus, you were just like, wait, can I do this? Like I can, I'm a promoter now. What? And so I don't know what your kind of thoughts are on that side of things. Yeah. So I think that it, once again, going back to not having any expectations mm -hmm. that helped a lot because you know, like when I was messaging you and I'm like, yeah, I hit this bonus. You're like, what? Like, you know what that means? I'm like, yeah. what does it mean? <laughs> to really start out, I wasn't putting in anything that I wasn't going to yeah. benefit from. Right. To start, you buy products. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to use them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't like I was like, oh, this is kind of like a big leap for me. It was zero obligations with it. Mm -hmm. So by just receiving products and doing what I've always been doing, instead of just getting credits as a customer, I was getting credits and cash bonuses. Yeah. So it was just like, um, yeah, like I was gonna do this anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like there's nothing really to lose. There wasn't. You know? <laughs> yeah, there wasn't. And so you just kind of, and it, like I said, or referred to earlier, it's all at your own pace, right? Yeah. It's it's what you see in it. So you get into the business and you're like, in the beginning, you're like, eh, I just wanna, like, you were like, eh, well, I have nothing else to lose. Like, I have all this product, cool. Um, and then say you get into it five days, you're like, bonus, what? Okay. Yeah. And so and <laughs> that's, that's common too. And so a lot of people, I would say, maybe you run by this too, where they feel like they need to like really commit to something. Yeah. Right? And it's like, well, I mean, if you find that this isn't for you, we get it. I think we covered a lot today and I could talk about this for hours on end. And so thank you if you've stuck around for this video. <laughs> um, and I hope that this was a good, not only resource for you, but maybe answered some questions, maybe helped with some hesitations or anything at all. Even if it was outside of promoting, if this is, was just a, you know, a, a place where you were like, you know what, I'm going to go do some personal development today. I'm happy with that. Um, and so anyway, I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching and then thank you to T for allowing me to drill you with questions. Literally, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a awesome day and you know where to find us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>